Zide bakabako da babi, zada bako kobo do bada ke ke de bakabo kabadi. Di bako ka ke de boko badi da ki de ke de boko bada ka. Zada ba bada boko ke de ke de bado ka ke di bake ka ke de boko badi da ki da. Zadi boko ko bada ka, zide boko ke de boko badi da ki da. Zaka boko bade di ka ki da. Zuko bodo bada kidi bada ko kede de kede boko badi zide ba ko kabada kidi bada ko kede boko bada kida da kabaku de di ba kada boko bada ka kede 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 zada ba kada ba ku de di kada boko kede bada kidi kada ba zada boko kede bada kida de di boko kede bada kida ba ko ka kede kedi bodo ba ka kida za kada ba ku de di boko kede bada kada ba di za de boko kede bada kida kide boko ba keda kade di boko bada di kada boko kede 
kede kede kede zoko badaki de bodo bada dikadabo badake kede kede boko badi kakida thank you heavenly father we thank you god for today thank you for the breath of life thank you for the salvation of our souls thank you god for what you have been doing on here thank you for what you are said to do tonight Thank you for that which you will not do. We give you all the praise. We worship you, Father. May your name alone be praised. I yield myself to your power. I pray, Lord, you take over my lips. Oh, Father, I commit the service, Lord, you have come and do a new thing. We declare the service open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight again. I pray that the Lord is going to stop every power of the enemy that want to stop your destiny, stop your marriage and your ministry that is bent on stopping your future. Before they do that, the Lord is going to stop them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to say to yourself, wherever you may be, my time is now. Say to yourself again, Richard, my time is come. Richard, your time has come. My time for greatness is now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today we're going to be looking at stop them before they stop me. Stop them before they stop me. That is what we are going to be looking at in the whole of August. The Lord is said to stop everyone that is bent on stopping you. Every power anywhere, every coven that is bent on stopping you, every demonic setting, every sickness that want to stop you, disappointment, manipulations of darkness, witchcraft manipulation, marine witchcraft manipulation, the Lord is said to stop them before they will succeed in stopping you. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. We take our scripture today from the book of Genesis 3, verse 4 to 5. Genesis 3, verse 4 to 5. And the Bible said, But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die, for God knows that on the day you eat from it, your eyes will be open. That is, you will have greater awareness. And you will be like God, knowing the difference between good and evil. Hallelujah. Before we go further, I want to encourage you to invite someone. I want you to share this broadcast so that your friends and relatives, co-workers in the office, so that people get to know what is happening here, what God has been doing, and they be blessed as well. I want you to share this broadcast right now. As you begin to share the blessings of God is going to locate you wherever you may be. Like our page. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hallelujah. I want you to share this broadcast as we begin to look at the scripture. Hallelujah. So look at the, that particular scripture. Very fascinating to see that Eve was deceived by the serpent. She was created as a helper, but Satan came and manipulated her against her husband. Praise God. So today we are going to be dealing with the powers of manipulation. The powers of manipulation. So many people have been manipulated against their divine helpers. Their divine helpers have been manipulated against them. You find yourself fighting against those that God has placed to lift your life up those that god has placed to make things better for you i tell you my brothers and my sisters god is not going to come down by himself to do that which he proposed in your life he is going to use men and women around you those that are not around you god is going to use them to fulfill the plan and purpose that he has for your life but the enemy can only come stop that plan if he's able to manipulate you against their, your divine helpers or manipulate your divine helpers even against you. You see yourself fighting with your boss in the office who God has actually ordained that he's going to be the ladder to which you are going to fulfill purpose in that your office. 
in your in your place of business you see people that god has actually planned in your life to elevate you in your business to open your eyes to what you need to know to make it in that business the devil will stir them up against you or the devil will stir you up against them vice versa you begin to see yourself falling on a daily basis moving from one place to another without the favor of god people that are supposed to help you people that you are supposed to help the devil will begin to manipulate one uh, each one against another but tonight as we are going to be praying i believe and i trust god that god is going to destroy the power of manipulation in the mighty name of jesus there are so many people in life who the devil are manipulating their helpers in order to frustrate them the purpose for which the devil is doing this is to frustrate human beings so that you get discouraged and at the point you want to commit suicide some people have actually lost their life as a result of frustration because of manipulation that is why you see husband and a wife the devil will manipulate one against another just in the case of eve eve was created to be a divine helper for adam but the devil came manipulated her to work against the plan and purpose of god for his life hallelujah so many people are regretting in their marriage today they say i wish i never got married no because the person that they saw when they got married is different from who they, they actually seeing now i tell you my brethren leaving that marriage is not the solution because there is a power of manipulation that is working against such marriage so that the marriage will not succeed if you can address such powers then that spouse is going to be a good spouse you'll be surprised that your wife or your husband who you think can never be a good person will be acting very great and excellent after that power has been dealt with so tonight i want to believe and i trust god as many of you that are in this category the power of the lord is going to meet you wherever you may be and this power of, of, of manipulations will be destroyed in your life in your ministry in your marriage in your business in the name of jesus the bible said in amos 3 verse 3 it said can two walk together except they be in agreement you see so many families today the devil is manipulating them against one another they see themselves in the dream that one is chasing them in the dream shooting them in the dream afflicting them in the dream this is actually the powers of the enemy it's a manipulation when you see your spouse coming to have sex with you in the dream it's a power of manipulation he has access to it because you are legally married hallelujah he has rights for it so if you see your spouse trying to put you in the family way in the dream this is a manipulation it's a witchcraft manipulation hallelujah so these powers are what we are going to be addressing today so many people they have been in a particular country they have relocated from where they used to be to find greener pasture but the devil has manipulated them and kept them in one spot by delay delay and this delay has cost so many so much to so many families you see husband and wife they are separated as a result of this you see children are separated from their family as a result of this because that bonding is no more there communication what you communicate on the telephone is different from when you are seeing people physically for 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 20 years 15 years you have not seen your spouse you've not seen your children it, it's a bit on the other side of it that is not the plan and purpose of god for your life it is a manipulation from the past of the enemy to actually frustrate you but today the power of god is going to reverse every reversible that 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 testimony in your life is going to change that story in your life that narrative concerning you is going to change after tonight's meeting in the name of jesus hallelujah like i said the devil is doing this to frustrate so many let's look at the book of second samuel verse 9 chapter 9 second samuel chapter 9 verse 1 to the end we might not be able to read that but i just want to summarize and tell you what was happening there ziba was about to manipulate mephibosheth before david 
Hallelujah. This is the power of manipulation here. King David was looking for someone to be blessed, to show favor and kindness in the, the family of Saul for, 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 for Jonathan's sake. And Ziba was called upon to ask about, about that case. And instead of him to say, yes, there is somebody called Mephibosheth, what he mentioned first was that there is a son called Mephibosheth, but he's, he, 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 he's, he's, um, he, he's, he's deformed, that he has an ailment that will not allow him to come to the palace. You see, that was the first thing he mentioned. This is the power of manipulation. He wanted, because he knew that it was sacrilege for somebody who, who is deformed, who is in that capacity, who was sick because he was paralyzed from birth, not from birth, because I think the nurse, when he was giving birth to the nurse, was trying to take him and escape with him. And then they had an accident. From that day onward, he became paralyzed. So it was a crime or a sacri sacrilege for someone in that category. It's just like someone who is leprous to come into the palace. And Ziba knew about this and he wanted to take advantage of it. So many of us are in this category. When people ask about you, what will be mentioned is, oh, the family, uh, women don't stay in their husband's place in that family. That is not what they were asking. They are only asking, who is this young girl? I like to marry her. Who is this young man? I'm falling in love with him. But what the enemy will do is to feed, bring those information that are negative about you. In your place of work, when you are due for promotion and your case is brought up, the devil will bring someone. The devil will bring someone who will be used as a manipulator and want to manipulate you against your bosses want to manipulate you against the people that are in charge of that promotion in the office and they begin to say no um she's not friendly he's not friendly they give you a name this is the power of manipulation that was what ziba was doing but thank god for jesus and the lord helped Me mephibosheth if you read that chapter if you read that chapter you see what god actually did in the life of mephibosheth God intervened and David ignored and asked for Mephibosheth to come, even though it was not right for him to come to the palace. And if you read that chapter, you saw that somebody like Mephibosheth began to eat from the king's table. Hallelujah. So I want to speak to someone's life today that wherever you have been manipulated before now, you, as a result, you've been rejected. You've been demoted. You have been sent back the lord is going to cause you to be accepted today in the name of jesus those that have rejected you those that plotted against you in your office in your family any powers of the enemy that has manipulating your destiny manipulating your your divine helpers against you are manipulating you against your divine helpers the lord is going to fish them out today and destroy that power in the name of jesus hallelujah you are going to pray to God because the power of manipulation is very severe. You takes, it takes the prayer, it takes prayer and persistency for this to be exposed and be destroyed. It takes commitment and dedication to God for you to overcome the power of manipulation. They are everywhere the devil is using. You can stir up your child to be used as a manipulation. But I pray for you. Every plan of the devil to use an insider, use your family members, use your own children, your spouse, even close confidence against you to manipulate you and to reduce you to nothing. The power of God is going to frustrate that power today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to, I want us to do this and do it properly so that the presence of God will be available for you. God will only fight for his own. 
if you are here you are not born again before we start to pray or before we go further in this this today i want you to take a decision right now it is possible you have made this decision or this confession in the past but you never meant it jesus is available to forgive you i want you to say in in this say this little prayer or this commitment after me if you are in that category you want to give your life to jesus so that jesus can begin to fight for you say lord jesus i have come to realize that you are my savior and my divine helper i am a man of sinful nature daddy have mercy on me today i declare within my heart and from the bottom of my heart that you are my lord and my personal savior father take me back to your bosom again help me to sin no more destroy the power of sin and the nature of sin in me delete my name from the book of hell and write my name in the book of life thank you heavenly father for in jesus mighty name i have made this declaration if you have just made that declaration i want to congratulate you that by faith you are not born again look for a bible believing church around you begin to fellowship with brethren and as you do so you see god fighting for you and every forms of manipulations that the enemy is putting in place to to reduce you to nothing to bring you down to bring shame upon you to bring reproach upon you the power of god is going to destroy it in the name of jesus everyone that has been set as a manipulator against you every witchcraft manipulation every manipulation from any covid from the occult war against your life and your destiny against your marriage and your ministry against your business your health against your children and your spouses the power of god we go going to pull them down today in the name of jesus hallelujah i want us to pray before we go further you are going to cry to god you are going to cry to god and say my father anyone manipulating me and my helper with the intention to frustrate me lord destroy them in the name of jesus anyone that is manipulating me anyone manipulating me and my helper with the intention to reduce me to frustrate me father lord pull them down daddy pull them down like you pull down the wall of jericho i want to believe that you are crying to god lord pull them down anyone that is set to manipulate me every power of god that is assigned anyone that is assigned to manipulate me and my divine helpers oh father with the intention to frustrate me with the intention to pull me down with the intention to destroy me father as i pray in the name of jesus destroy them in the mighty name of jesus destroy them before they stop me lord stop them in the name of jesus lord stop them i want you to i want you to begin to cry to god lord stop them before they stop me anyone oh god that is manipulating my divine helpers against me everyone oh god manipulating my divine helpers against me everyone manipulating me against my divine helpers oh father before they stop me stop them now in the name of jesus lord stop them lord stop them everyone that is set to manipulate this one so god everyone assigned to manipulate their divine helpers against them Father, wherever they may be, O oh God, Daddy, today pull them down, destroy them before they destroy the life of this one. Lord, destroy them before they destroy this one. Daddy, stop them, O oh God. Every power, O oh God, in motion to stop, O oh God, the destiny of this one. I declare in the name of Jesus, Lord, you will stop them. O oh Lord, arise and stop them. Father, arise and stop them. As we begin to pray right now, O oh God, arise and stop them. Every power anywhere any man or woman boy or girl young 
God, oh, daddy, that has been assigned. Oh, that has been assigned. That have been recruited, oh God. Daddy, oh God, to manipulate the life of this one. Daddy, with the intention, oh God, to, to frustrate them. Daddy, to destroy them. So that some of them will commit suicide. So that some of them will die, oh God. Ancient of all days, I pray. In the name that is above every other name. Baba, stop them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, stop them. Like you stop the builder of the toil of Babel. Oh, Father, cause confusion, oh God, in their midst. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, stop them. Oh, Father, stop them. In the order of the builder of the toil of Babel. Father, stop them, oh God. Baka zakadabaku dedi. Zika badoko badeke deke de badakida. Zika dabako ke deke diboko ke de badakida. Zakadabaku kadida bade. Zika da bako ko bodo badakadaba. Zadabako ke de dike de boko bodo badakadabadida. Zakabako ko bodo bodo. Dika da boko ke de badakida. Zake da bakoda. Dike de boko badakida. Ke di kadi boko kade kadaba kadi boko ke de bada zada bako ke de bodoba di kada boko ke de bada kidi bada boko ba kada kida kadi bodoba da kadida z de bodoba kade ke de di bako ka ke de ke de boko ba di kakida zoko bodoba da de de kada baku de di ba zaka bako ke de bodoba di kade 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 ba kada baku de di kada bako ke de Boko Badakadi, every power of God that is bent to God, Daddy, to stop this one through manipulation. Lord, I declare, oh God, that you stop them right now. Before they will stop your people, Lord, arrive in your power, oh God, stop them. Daddy, stop them, oh God. Daddy, stop them, oh God. Daddy, stop them, oh God. Every witchcraft power, every occultic power, every man or woman, boy or girl, young or old, that have been assigned to stop the life of this one. Oh, Father, rise, Lord. That he arise and stop them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Another thing that happens when the pile of manipulations is in place is shame. The intention is to bring shame upon the people of God. If you look at Genesis 3, verse 21, the Bible said, The Lord made tunics of animal skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them because they have been manipulated and they became naked. Their nakedness was revealed. So the plan and purpose of the enemy is to bring shame upon the people of God, to put them to shame and to make them to be naked. But tonight we are going to cry to God that everything that the enemy had done that is to bring shame and nakedness upon anyone. The Lord will reverse it in the name of Jesus. The power of the manipulation, the power of manipulators. You see a man who does not steal before, he finds himself in stealing. The devil will work it out and cause them to go into stealing and they will be caught. The very first day, you'll be surprised, a pen in the office, a man or a woman who has nothing, who is very rich and is able to buy a pen, you find them stealing a pen and they'll be manipulated. That highly exalted office where they have been, they'll be demoted, they'll be sacked. It is the power of manipulation to bring shame. You see a man and a woman who are living well, they are living peacefully together, they love themselves. All of a sudden, one will begin to cheat on another. The devil will set them up. It is a manipulation. What is the what is the aim of that? The aim is to bring shame and reproach to such individual. But today, when Adam and Eve, when Eve was manipulated, he brought on Adam and they became naked. That's what the scripture says. So the power of the manipulators, their intention is to bring nakedness. So we are going to pray to God. I say, Lord, my Father, my Father, arise, O oh God, as I begin to pray. Cover my shame in the name of Jesus. I don't know what area that the enemy has manipulated you and shame has been brought upon you. I want you to begin to cry to God. You know that this thing that happened to you is a manipulation. That ordinarily, you cannot do this by yourself with your clear eyes. 
it is the power of the manipulation to bring shame and that shame has come you want to cry to god i say lord as i pray right now lord as i begin to pray daddy cover my shame and my nakedness in every area look god where the power of manipulators have caught me where the power of manipulation so god daddy has taken place in my life daddy oh god and shame has been brought upon me and my destiny Father, arise as I begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, cover my nakedness. Daddy, cover my shame. Lord, Daddy, cover my shame and my nakedness. Baba, cover my shame and my nakedness. Daddy, cover my shame and my nakedness. Baka zaka da baku de di baka da boko ke de bodo bada. Zika di boko ke de kade kade bada ko di kadi badi. Zaka baku ke de bodo bada kadi ba. Di kada bako da ke de ke de boko badi da kida zuba da kada bako de dika de ke de boko badi kaki da kadi bodo bada karaba ziko do bodo bada de di boko ke de bada kida kada ba kade boko ke de bada kide ke di bodo bada kada badida zo bada kada bade di kada bako ke de bodo bada zakada boko ko bodo dika da ke da ke da badi kaki da zike de boko ke de bada kida da Kabo ba de kake de ke de bodo ba di kaki da zo di boko kodo ba de de ke de ke de kada ba kidi zo di bada ko kade ke de kado ba kada ba di da zo ko ba da ki de ke de bodo ba. I pray for this one, so God, every power of the manipulation, every power of the manipulators, oh Father that is working in the life of this one, I declare in the name of Jesus, let the power be destroyed right now. Every nakedness, oh God, every nakedness. Oh God, every shame, oh God, Father, Daddy, cover their nakedness, Daddy, cover their shame in the mighty name of Jesus, Daddy, cover their shame, Lord, cover their shame, Daddy, cover their nakedness in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, arise in your power, Daddy, cover their shame and their nakedness, Lord, cover their shame and their nakedness, Baba, cover their shame and their nakedness, Baka, Zaka, Dabaku, Dedi, Kadabo, Koke, Deka, Debaka, Dida, Zuba, Dabaka, Dabaku, Dedi, de ke de boko ke de bada kababadi zaka da bako de ke de boko bada kadida ze di boko ko bada kade ke de ke de boko badidi za da baka da ba di kada bako da de di boko badika zoko bada kadiba zaka da bako ke de bada kida thank you heavenly father in jesus name we have prayed as we pray right now there is someone there is someone out there the powers of manipulators has been effective in your life in short it has put you into deep mess and you looked at yourself and you said i cannot do this i did not do this but it was the power of the manipulators that actually put you in that deep mess but as we pray right now I see the hand of God destroying that power of manipulation. And that shame that was brought upon you, the Lord is reversing that shame. In the name of Jesus, God is clothing you with a garment of praise. God is clothing you with a garment of praise. God is clothing you with a garment of praise. And that secret will be revealed shortly in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing your word to pass in the life of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray again. We're going to pray, but before we pray, I want us to look at the book of Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 25. Isaiah 49, 24 to 25. The Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the captives of the righteous be delivered? He said, But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prayer of the terrible be delivered for i will contend with him who contend with you and i will save your children stop them before they stop you hallelujah the what god is saying here is that it does not matter if you have been captured for a very long time if you have been captured by strong men of your foundation in every family, there are demonic men and women who claim to be in charge. They threaten the life of people. They mess up the life of people. They feel that there is no God 
and they are in charge they can do whatever please them but i promise you tonight because the scripture that what god has promised that he's going to take you away from the hand of the strong man he's going to contend with them and he's going to save your children hallelujah what a wonderful promise from the scripture god is saying to someone it doesn't matter how long you have been in that tribulation it doesn't matter how long you have been in that spiritual prison it doesn't matter how long the strong man of your family have been tormenting your life but today i would snatch you away from the hand of the wicked that's what god is saying hallelujah god is saying i will take you away from the hand of the wicked praise god what a great promise and what an assurance congratulations to every one of you who are on this program this evening and for many of you who are going to listen to this broadcast afterward wherever you may be god is saying i will snatch you away from the hand of the strong man it means also that everything that has had you bound for a very long time be you sickness be you disease be you affliction be it barrenness, be it unfruitfulness, singleness, rising and falling, failure at the edge of breakthrough, poverty. God is saying, I will take you away from that stronghold tonight in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. And your prayer is going to be, Lord, as I begin to pray, arise. As I pray, Lord, take me from the hand of the mighty in the name of Jesus. In every area where I have been captured lawfully, in every area where I have become a lawful captive, Lord, Daddy, as I begin to pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, as I pray, take me away from the hand of the mighty. In every area where the enemy has had me, in every area where they have had my wife and my children, in every area where they have had my husband and my children, in every area where they are sitting on my business, in every area where they are sitting on my projects, they have vowed that this project cannot be completed. Oh Lord, arise. Daddy, arise, oh God. Arise in your power, arise in your power as a pray. Take me away from the hand of the mighty and destroy the mighty, O God, assigned against my life. Lord, take me away from the hand of the mighty. Lord, take me away from the hand of the mighty as I begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, take me away from the hand of the mighty. Destroy, O God, those that claim to be mighty, every foundation apart every power of God from my father's house and my mother's house, every strong man and women, every evil and demonic man, oh father that claimed ownership of my destiny, oh father they are saying I will never make it in life father arise oh God take me away from the hand of the mighty, I want you to cry to God daddy I pray for this one so God under the unction of my boy whatsoever power that is holding on to them, whatsoever power that is saying no to your yes in their life any power that is bent to oh God that has vowed that over their dead body with this one see the light of the day. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, you will snatch them away, O oh God, from the hand of the wicked. You will snatch this one away from the hand of the mighty. In the name of Jesus, you will take them away from the hand of the mighty. You will deliver them, O oh God. According to your word, you will deliver them. Lord, you will deliver them. Daddy, I say, pray, take them away from the hand of the mighty every area where they have been captured lawfully, every area of God where their foundation, their forefathers have handed them over they have used them, oh God, to mortgage, oh God, for powers they have used them to mortgage for fame, evil fame, demonic powers, oh God, oh Father, oh God, and the enemies holding them lawfully, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord, you will deliver them snatch them from the hand of the mighty Baba, snatch, oh God from the hand of the mighty bakozo de badakadibo koko badedi zaka badabako da kede kede boko badi kadiba zike de boko badakaraba zaka dibo koko bodo kabadedi zadibo koke de bakadabo kake de kedi boko badika zadabadabakodo di kadabako kede badakida de de kede kede boko badika kida 
Zedebo doba, dibo kadaba koko badeka, zade badaku de diba kadaba kida, zedibo kobo doba da, da kabada ku de di kakede, zika daba kokede bada kadi badi, zo bada kadaba koda, deke deke debo kobadi kakida, zada bako daba kede, kadebo kabadi kakadi boko bada kadaba di, zada bada kude, de di kadaba koda, kadi kadi bada kade boko badaki de kedeba zika dabako ba kede kede boko badeda zada badabaku de kede 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 badakada zika dabako badakada bakode zadi boko ko badaka di kede 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 bodo bakadi za kede boko bodo di kede bakada badi kakida thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen hallelujah I want to share this broadcast as we are rounding off. We are going to take the last prayer. Hallelujah. I want you to share this broadcast. I want you to share it. Begin to share right now. Wherever you may be, begin to share it. Let other people benefit from what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. You're going to cry to God and say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, Lord, daddy, you have my permission. Go into my foundation, Lord. Go into my foundation, Lord. Enter into my family. Deliver me from every lawful captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from every lawful captivity, Lord. Daddy, as I begin to pray right now, you have my permission. Go into my family. Go into my foundation. Go into my marriage. Go into my business, the life of my spouse and my children. Go into my life. Father, you have my permission. Lord, go into my life, Lord. Deliver me from every lawful captivity in every area, O oh God, where my forefathers have handed me over to the powers of the enemy. In every area, O oh God, where the powers of the enemy has, O oh God, lawfully captured me and my household. Daddy, Lord, today invade my life. Deliver me, O oh God, from lawful captivity. Deliver my spouse from lawful captivity. Deliver my business. Deliver my head, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, deliver me from every lawful captivity captivity in the name of Jesus. Baba, deliver me. Bako zoko do bada. Zika da bako de di kabada. Zake de boko kakeda. Dika da bako de kedi badika. Zaka di boko ko bada kadabadida. Zade bada kude kede 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 bada ko kakede. Zika boko ko bodo. Dede kede bada kide kede boko badi. Zaka da bako da kede 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 kadabadida. Zade boko Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want you to stretch forth your hand as if you want to receive from the Lord. As I pray for you in rounding off. Hallelujah. The Lord has been so wonderful today. And I want to trust God that you will return back to testify. I want you to stretch forth your hand as I pray for you. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. The King of all kings, the ancient of days, the I am that I am, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, incomparable God, the omnipotent, omniscient God, everlasting Redeemer, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Sikenu. Thank you, God, for a time like this. Thank you for any time we call on you, you always answer. Baba, may your name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. I stand as your oracle and I declare over the life of this one that every power of the manipulators that he come to an end today in the name of Jesus. Every power that is manipulating them against their divine helpers. Every power manipulating their divine helpers against them. Oh, Father, today you will arise and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare that every lawful captivity, Lord, you arise and snatch this one, oh God, from the hand of the wicked, that you have delivered them from lawful captivity in the name of Jesus. I pray heavily, Father, Lord, every power of the manipulation that has been programmed, that you God, to happen in the future over the life of this one, an end has come to it today in the name of Jesus. I declare that you cover their nakedness in every area, oh God, that the power of the manipulation, that Daddy has brought shame and reproach upon this one. You will clothe them, O God, Daddy, with the garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. May your name alone be praised. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Congratulations to you. The Lord has been very great in our midst tonight. 
as you sleep tonight the lord is going to open your eyes you see what god has done i would like to share in your testimony send me an email drop 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 an email and let me know what god has been doing for you and what he's still going to do as you go in this week i pray that you go in the might of the lord the presence of the lord will go with you you will not be a victim of circumstances the power of god will make a way for you in the mighty name of jesus i cover you in the pool of the blood of jesus i declare safety upon your life in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen until i see you again next sunday you have a good evening the lord bless you in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah Bye for now. Bye.